Hello friends. In part 3 of database connectivity, we will learn how to connect our form with service based database using ADO.NET. So, we have already designed our CLG database. We have one data set here and also in our data source we have the course table, marks table, student table. Also we have created one query here in the student transcript. So already I have designed this form. I have just put one label here. ID, name, DOB, gender, these are the label here. And I put some buttons. I label it first, last, next, previous. And also I have put four buttons here. This time there is no coding. Simply I have designed my form. Now we will see how we can connect this form with the service based database which we have already designed. So we go to the data source. In the data source you can see here we have this student table here. Just click on it. When you click on it, student table, you will see the student, all the fields, student ID, name, birth date, genders. So for connectivity, here we will use some bound data tools. So if you go to student ID, you will see this drop down box and you will see some controls here. These are the bound data tools. So for a student ID, I will select this text box and I will drag this and keep it on my form like this so you can see that this bound control is showing to you here select this text part and delete it and besides this and keep it with your form also you notice here the moment you put this control on your form you will find some binding sources, some components, some data binding uh, controls on your component tray. So we will get data set, student binding source, student table adapter, table adapter manager, student binding navigator. Also you can see here this binding navigator which will help us to navigate our records. Now for name field again we go to data source, go to the name here select which bound control you want so name is to be displayed on the text box so select text box and again you can drag and drop it on your form similarly we can do for the date of birth go to data source this birth date now here we will not select text instead we will select this uh, date time picker select this date time picker and then drop and drag it here we can adjust it just click on this name remove this text part and adjust this box on your form again the same thing remove this text part and put this field on your form Similarly for gender, again go to your data source and go to gender field, select uh, for this what will be the appropriate you have to think and I find this text box and drag this text box on your form. Remove this text part and keep this box, text box onto your form. Now, we will see what will happen when we run my form. So if I click on run, so 
we can see here that we are able to establish a connection with our service based database you see the records here which are fetched from your database so we can see here we have three records we can navigate with this button so this is second record third record you can also come to the first record using this button now we can also do the code for this navigation similarly when i click here i am going to next record so this time this works is having no functionality but we can write the code to perform the same function which is done by this binding navigator that we can see here so i want when i click on the first it will go to the first record the last record the next record and the previous records so this navigation we can do with the help of the standard move methods which is available so in the first let's click on it you get to the code window we can refer to the binding source here so you can go to the form and you can see the name of the binding source so the binding source name is student binding source so just click on it and right here student binding source dot move first the same thing we can do for the other buttons this is for last student binding source dot move last for the next student binding source dot move next the last is previous student binding source dot move previous okay so now we will run our code and see the output so now we'll try to move the next record with the help of this button and i click on next you see this is the first record next record next record previous 33 when i click on previous it shows estimate this is first record when i click on next it shows 22 when i click on previous it shows 1 when i click on last it shows 33 so now we can also navigate with the help of these buttons so in this lecture we have seen how to establish a connection uh, of our forms with the service based database using the adio.net now here you can see that in our form we have more buttons like search new delete update that we can learn in the next lecture that how to write the code so that we can search any records we can add a record and also we can delete a record thank you very much